Hello. <laughs> I'm very excited to be here. Thank you so much. So I discovered your teachings five months ago, and I've been listening nonstop. And I've been meditating every day. I've been checking in with myself throughout the day when I'm not feeling so good and really trying to find the relief and working my way up the emotional scale. Yes. And my life is, is changed, and I feel amazing. So I have a few questions. So the first one will be about relationships. How do we know when so there's this person in my life and there's lots of things that I do like about him and there's lots of things that are not so pleasing? <laughs> sort of like the world in general. Exactly. <laughs> and I just want to know, how do we know when, I need, when I'm in alignment, things are good? And, and that's kind of been the relationship when it's... Hi, it's high. When it's low, it's pretty low. And uh, I can tell when I'm in so alignment. So when you're in alignment, you want to stay. And when you're not in alignment, you want to go. Yes. So get in alignment. Yes. So, but how do I know if I need to just focus myself into alignment and hopefully he can be that person that is my vortexual? Because getting into alignment is important that you know. Getting into alignment. We're not encouraging you to get into alignment so he will change. We're encouraging you to get into alignment so that you feel satisfied so that he doesn't have to change. Now, you don't like hearing that much, do you? Because <laughs> if you create your own reality, so, well, what if I get into such alignment that then he can't stay? Well, that would be what happens. In other words, if you get in alignment with the things that you really prefer, it's not possible for another to be a cooperative component to what you're asking for. Then it's logical that vibrationally that you would not be together. And most people don't realize it, but they hold themselves. We're going to offer this in very precise words because we don't want you to jump to wrong conclusions. When you hold someone as your object of attention and you are in vibrational alignment with who you are at the same time. Your power of influence is stronger. But we are not asking you to get into alignment so that you can change people. We're asking you to get into alignment so that you can elicit from the environment around you, including someone, the very best of who they are. And it is our absolute knowing that when people aren't pleasing, they're usually way out of their own vortex but you hold them to you for longer periods of time because you're consistently out of yours as well so when you get consistently into alignment one of two things happens either those around you join you more or those around you become different people i can tell when i'm in alignment um how he's been such a good indicator for me and i've been learning so much because i can tell when i'm in alignment how i feel different and things are pleasing and when i'm not i know it's me i don't blame him for that i just how do i know if it's if it's also just thank you for all your clarifying moments and you know a stepping stone to move on to the the next the next thing it's an important question and a lot of people are asking the same question about a lot of different things whether it's a personal relationship or a place that they live or an environment where they work. How do I know when to move on? And this is such an easier thing to understand than most realize. Just make sure that you move on from a state of being satisfied, not from a state of being dissatisfied. Because if you're moving from alignment, then you're always moving to what you're looking for. If you're moving from dissatisfaction, you're just changing places and faces, but you're moving into the same thing with more momentum going. So that was what I was worried about. So I've been trying to get into alignment and saying, I don't want to just move on to the next thing because then I'm just going to attract more of, of the same. But you see, here's the thing. You're getting ahead of yourself in the sense that why are you thinking so much about where you're going next rather than about how satisfied you are now? all of your powers right now and so when someone speaks as you're speaking usually what they mean is well I've already decided that I'm getting out of here and I just need to know when to make my move <laughs> and we say under those conditions there's never a good time because you're not ever gonna move very far away from and so if you can decide that you're going to find satisfaction where you are 
by using your ability to focus and by using the process of meditation or appreciation or whatever feels good to get your vibration into that higher place where you are in sync with your inner being are there other relations out there that could potentially please you yes in every single case people are so afraid that they're missing the big one that what if I just settle for this that is less satisfying and then I miss what I'm really capable of having relative to that and we say if you come into vibrational alignment with who you are you'll be inspired moment by moment by moment by moment by moment to receive the best that life can offer to you don't worry about that but if you're looking to someone else to fill in all the gaps if you're looking for someone else to be the perfect one that just makes your heart sing just by observing then you're sort of missing the whole point of what creation is and about what life is and about what the potential for satisfaction is yeah we'd stay put and would look for reasons to feel good and if there aren't really obvious reasons relative to the relationship we would change the subject to other things that are satisfying until we are pretty sure that we have managed to be in large measure in a state of satisfaction because you just can't maintain that for very long before things begin to unfold and usually what happens is you find the depth and richness of the people that are up close to you and once you accomplish and maintain this state of connection with who you really are then you just begin to find the buried treasures right there where you were rather than looking and looking and looking and looking in other places for them there was a reason that you came together to begin with and that original coming together reason is usually a very good one we teased you all a little bit you come together and you say you can feel some attraction and what it's about is usually you were more in alignment and following impulses and there you are and you feel the excitement of it and then you say tell me about yourself <laughs> and then they go back five ten they go back and they dig up things that they think you might find significant yeah I was in this accident and I broke my toe over there and <laughs> trying to give you all the high points and for most people the high points are the dramatic points and then often in that even very early encounters there begins to be a diminishment in the relationship between that person and their inner being just like there begins to be a diminishment in the relationship between you and your own inner being and so at best you are most often as humans we love you so much two people coming together not experiencing the benefit of your wholeness just sort of banging it out in a sort of disconnected way and then not feeling all that good because you're not in the resource you're not being refreshed in the way that you would be if you were in alignment and then blaming each other for it not being that great and we say it can only be as great as you are and when you're in alignment it will improve it will improve it's not about his alignment it's only about mine well it's about both but you can't do anything about his except influence it from yours but most people you don't try to improve someone else's alignment when you're in alignment you're usually mad at them for not behaving in a way that makes it easy for you to be in alignment if you just be different you'd be perfect <laughs> I have another question I'm going on a the Brian Weiss workshop I know what you say about past lives but I also know what you say about being in alignment and bringing past experiences and changing the the past in in the present and I do understand the value of being in the now but is there value in getting into that deep focused meditative state and remembering from past lives or projecting into future lives for the current life that here and now if you heard us not encouraging you to go back 20 years then <laughs> <laughs> there is something important to say about this however and that is that this is the easiest thing for you to hear you don't really know whose past life you're getting it doesn't matter when you tap back into that but one thing is always true it is a vibrational match to where you now are if you're all tuned in tapped in turned on and you begin to receive something 
it's got to be a vibrational match to where you are and if it isn't it's not the past life that is the problem it's where you are now that is and so too often people use those processes to justify where they are now which is not pleasing to them because someone who's tuned in tapped in turned on is moving forward not looking back but that's what we I'm know that people <laughs> think that they need that kind of insight in order to get it but there's no bottom there's just no bottom so you just have to decide what vibration you want to activate and which one you want to keep active so it's about your intention when you're going into that place can you get insight from being in that place that will change your reality your current reality well, the answer to that has to be yes because there is potential for insight everywhere and anywhere you go from your state of absolute connection you will receive insight that's why we say we don't know if you're getting your past life or someone else's in other words let's say you are feeling pretty vulnerable and not strong and so you find your way into some past lives that are like that and you say well no wonder I'm like this now because that's what I've had going on and we say well that was helpful <laughs> or let's say that you're all tuned in tapped in turned on you've been meditating you're high on life you're moving forward and what you tap into is exhilarating stuff like that so our question to you is do you think it could be equally productive we think way more productive to find your alignment and move forward as you've intended rather than find your alignment and look back and in any case what you're finding is simply a vibrational match to where you are period someone will say well I was sexually assaulted in this life and then in my past life regression they are having then and 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 that's when we say we don't know nobody knows you don't know if you're getting your past lives you're just getting evidence of where you are right now how informative is that that might be insightful